Wow. Wow. Wow, this is this is some really deep stuff. I don't know what just happened, but something happened inside of me. Something snapped, something shook. I wasn't expecting that either. Ah, uh, <laughs> sorry. It's okay, it's all right. It's beautiful. <laughs> Monster is like really small, but it had to become that to stop me. And then the hurt child became present when you mentioned it. And I didn't realize this until now. There were things that I didn't remember yeah. until now. It's funny, I haven't seen that before. It, it feels like I'm the monster. I'm kind of seeing images of things. Of a, of a world where they can exist. This clarity brings all kinds of answers. It's clear. She like hugged me and then went back to her place, I guess, in my heart. Oh, it wants to come out. <laughs> it wants the bippity boppity boop Cinderella me. Like, <laughs> she's like melted into like my chest. It's like ooey gooey. All week, been finishing things, cleaning up more, started eating vegetables again last week. <laughs> and it kind of just started happening. It's almost like I just finished going through a meditation session. I feel like, like, you know, when you. When you hit that first joint, like in the morning, and you... I actually feel a lot more um, awake. Um, so, <laughs> I don't even know where to start. There's so many things I want to talk about. Um, well, for the first, first, what's here right now is um, I had a beautiful morning. I went for a walk. I talked to my daughter. I listened to um, one of your um, calls on the podcast. And mm -hmm. and then I opened my email to find the Zoom link. And just looking at the headlines, my blood pressure goes up, my heart rate. I mean, it's just, yeah. I get so panicky. Yeah. I think I know the feeling. <laughs> um. Yeah, I was thinking maybe Vietnam is not so bad. Just <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, uh, anyway, it, is it's it just, a specific? It, was it a specific emails or is it just the general? Just, just check all in the, the things. inbox. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. I have the same, and I'm really anxiety around yeah. that. I think I check my yeah. email like twice a week. Oh wow, that yeah. would be a good goal. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I yeah. look at it way too much. Um, and it's, you know, it's not good for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so it's all just what other people want, mostly. Yeah. 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 Anyway. Yeah, that's true. <sighs> so it's taken me a while to um, calm down. Okay. And Take as long as you like, and we can work with that part if you'd like. Yeah. I mean, that that's... Um, there's a really, I don't know what the word is, present, obvious part that's just fearful anyway. So it really mm -hmm. uh, activates that part. Okay. Um, Would you like to have a minute of quiet meditation? Sure. Okay. I'll set a timer. All right. Got any parts you'd like to get to know better or change your relationship with? Well, this um, fearful part, just acknowledging it, just brings up all kinds of emotion, but also okay. is helpful. I think it helps Yeah. for the emotion to come up. Yeah. Um, yeah, we can stay with that if you'd like. Yeah, I think it's at, at the base of 
all the <laughs> a lot of the other parts anyway. So okay. Um. Hmm. Can you just say more about what you're noticing about it? Or uh, right now, it feels like my um, just my heart is activated, like beating or. Uh, like I can feel it, like it's having physical feelings. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Just beating a little fast. Yeah, and it feels a little uh, swollen or something. Okay. Just send it that acknowledgement. Hello, heart. <laughs> yeah, just speaking about it. And pay, noticing it is really mm -hmm. feeling calming. Anything else you're noticing? Just that, uh, needing to take deep breaths. Like that, like that anxious feeling of not being able to get a deep breath. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. How are you feeling towards this part or parts? Mm, I just, I have a lot of um, <clears throat> empathy and compassion. Um, like grief about, well, I'm, I'm remembering a, I was sitting yesterday kind of sort of meditating and noticing the bird i mean i live in a beautiful place um and i was hearing the birds and just thinking all of the times that i can't see that because i'm caught in this anxiety and just feeling the grief around that you know mm -hmm. missing out yeah yeah so some sadness or grief or just discontent with missing out on that yeah, just it's more like a um, sad, empathetic kind of feeling. <clears throat> Great. Okay. Okay. Yeah. See if you can get the fearful part. See if you can get its attention to kind of turn towards you. Show it some of that empathy. You could ask it what it wants you to know. <laughs> it's, um, what's coming up is really familiar and what, what's, come up with um, with myself and all also in other IFS sessions that it just wants to be noticed and held and I think that reminds me of the our previous session I think it we ended up I ended up holding the baby yes um, that's what it reminds me of, of is um, it just wants to be held protected noticed are you up for that now yeah yeah that's okay. um, The more it wants to tell you about itself or its experience. There's, it always is a, um, and that's what I'm feeling now, is that the image 
and also body sensation of um, like it's in my belly, like in the womb, and it's dark and spacious. And uh, fragile. Okay. So I just stay with it there. Okay. It seems like um, I mean, what I've noticed lately is I just I just need to go there a lot, and <laughs> it almost feels like uh, never ending. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think it's great that you're. That you are able to go there. Yeah, yeah. I've been, I um, I had a session with Pal um, from the IFS Collective. Do you know who she is? Yes. Uh, only we've messaged a couple times. Yeah, and it was really good. And it was also same same. You know, going to this like fragile place in the womb that needs holding. So I have a little glass red glass heart that hangs in my car. So I, um, I keep that with me now. It's not with me right now, but it's in my room. Um, and that's sort of externalizes it for me. So I hold that little heart. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's been really helpful. Okay. So my intuition would be when this part is feeling held, then to uh, get curious about it and, you know, ask it all kinds of questions, whatever questions it's okay with, that would give some clarity on why it does need come up to this degree or need the amount of holding that it needs or yeah, what else we can do for it so that it spends less time feeling fearful. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I keep asking. And I, I don't get any, um, it's okay. I don't get any answers. Um, but there's a, the, um, what I know about, and I don't, there's no way of knowing if this is what this is, but my mom, um, her first baby died when she was three months old in her crib. And then my mom got pregnant with me. And I don't think my mom ever fully grieved that loss. So there's a part that wonders if, um, you know, if I, before I was even born, absorb that. Um, I mean, it feels like it could be true, but, you know, obviously there's no way of knowing that. There's no memory. Yeah. Yeah. Could be. Maybe you could ask this part about some of its earliest memories. If it has anything it can show you kind of historically about where these feelings come from, how it, how it came to be in the way that it is.
this, uh, this, I think I've said this before, but this where it gets tricky because I, there are memories, but I don't know if they're related to this. And then there okay. are things I kind of know about but don't have memories of. And so I think, well, is that it? You know? <laughs> yeah. Um, Do you want to just speak on um, one of those memories and then we can kind of sure. check it out with this part, see if it resonates, mm. see if we're in the right ballpark. Um, you also don't have to speak it out loud. I would just. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I know when my um, parents got divorced, I mean, I was three, maybe, between two two and three. No, I must have been three. Um, and I don't remember anything about that time, but I have a memory of a feeling of being lost, like in a, um, like a dark hole. Okay. Um, okay. So, yeah. See if you can kind of compare those feelings or even ask this part that likes to be held if it's if it's related to the dark hole feeling. It's a very similar um, mm -hmm. image. Mm-hmm. You could ask if this part or and or the one that felt lost if it feels like you understand it. If it feels like I understand it. Yeah, does it trust? It see yeah, it seems like it just because the consistency of the imagery it's like, oh yeah, that's that's what it feels like. That's what it felt like. Right. Right. And the the speed at which you're able to go and hold it also sounds to me like it has yeah. some trust, some trust for you in you. Yeah, yeah, and it responds. Mm-hmm. Is there any more that it wants to show you that it feels like maybe you don't get about it or the depth of its experience that it feels that it's kind of alone with or burdened by? Can you say that again? Because I was in and out. Is there any more that it wants to show you um, about itself or about the depth of its experience that it has been felt alone with or burdened by? What's coming up is that um, it's so easy and automatic for me to not pay attention to it, you know, to just do what I need to do. Mm -hmm. Don't let that come up. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe it's... Um, concern that I will you know, continue to let um, 
probably protectors, you know, step in and keep it away. Mm -hmm. And what's your sense of that? Does that feel, you know, how, how much truth is there in that, uh, protectors are still coming up and keeping it away. Oh yeah. I, I, I notice that all the time, <laughs> mm -hmm. sure. but, it, but I'm noticing, I'm noticing, noticing, and I'm, um, you know, getting better at noticing and does it, you know, it's becoming feel, more, does it feel like you're getting better at noticing? And kind of getting through to it. Yeah, again, because I think I, it, because it responds, it's like it's like, oh, okay, you know, you get it now. <laughs> Great, <laughs> you're yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I've got a few different ideas about directions we could go if you'd like to hear them. Yeah. One is to kind of stay with this part and stay in this space that we've been in of, you know, tell me more. Another would be to um, check with those protectors that don't want it to come up and see how to work with them um, and what they need. Um, and another might be kind of offering this part like, okay, let's say it's time to check email. How do I do this in a way that doesn't trigger this part? You know, kind of thinking about the future with this part. Yeah, that sounds like a really, <laughs> a really fruitful where, place to go. The third one? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you're connected with it now? It feels safe and seen by you now? Yeah, I can, I can see it. Yeah. Okay. And does the email feel like a good thing to to kind of practice yeah. or think about with it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so maybe you can just walk through that really slowly with this part. You know, the, the before you check the email, the thinking about checking the email and just see where it starts getting kind of triggered I'm imagining if I'm conscious before I open the email, that might be a good start. Yeah, Rather can you than say just, more about that? Um, yeah, it seems like if I, I'm imagining if I can, um, like prepare myself to open the email, not just open the email and like, oh my God, you know, there it is. Okay. But you're like, yeah. okay, this, we know this happens. Right. Right. So maybe the How checking the email is not so intentional. Um, it might just be a habit. And then you're getting hit with whatever is, you know, not fun mm -hmm. to see in the email. Mm -hmm. And, and thinking that had you sp spent a second to prepare and, and be more intentional around it, that this part would feel better about that. Check it out with the part. Yeah, it feels, it feels like that's a, that's a way you could take care of me. Okay. I just want you to know that um, I'm I'm 
putting in some effort with my own parts right now because um, this is kind of exactly what I do and the parts that I have around the same thing. So I'm trying not mm. to be too biased or, mm. uh, yeah. I just want you to know that's that's up for me. I have parts that want to tell you about all my clever systems <laughs> of, of doing that. <laughs> Well, that's, um, yeah, that's helpful. I think your parts um, can relate and, you know, can offer me some support that way. Yeah. Um, a couple of years ago, when I, before, before I was really into IFS, um, I, was, I was like, I, you know, I just have anxiety. I, I think I just have anxiety and I've never been diagnosed with anxiety or know anything about that. But I was reading a book about like how to deal with anxiety. And it said, make mm -hmm. a list of the things that you encounter in a week and like what level of anxiety each of them brings and, and figure out what your top, top ones are. What's, what's a nine out of 10 or 10 out of 10. And I made that list and there were a couple of things at the top, but one of them was checking emails or uh, making a phone call to the lawyer or some, you know, <laughs> something like that. And it really surprised me, you know, like that's what, that's my top anxious thing. That's a, that's a nine out of 10 for me. You know, like <laughs> I was surprised to find that at the top of the list. Um, I don't know. I just wanted to share that again, my experience with that. And so I did, I did that. I did start taking it really seriously and saying, okay, yeah, this is, there needs to be a fence around this and I need to approach this with intention. And I do check in with my anxious parts before. And yeah, I have all kinds of systems set up to actually keep me from checking my email. Like before I take these calls, I have my phone kind of lock out all the, uh, communication apps mm -hmm. so that like I can't check an email an hour before an IFS call stuff like that but anyway yeah um, that's really helpful um, I mean just realizing that opening an email unconsciously that I could not do that <laughs> Yeah. Is is an awareness I had. And that really it's so normal. That. It's so mm -hmm. normal in our day and age, right? That it's like, there's the alerts. I'm supposed to push that when it turns red. And, and restructuring a system around that takes some real work. It's like, okay, I need to turn off all these notifications. I need to turn this off. I need to... So yeah, how's the part feel hearing me share that? I think it's um, just appreciating that there's um, that there's awareness about it and mm. that that's a good um a good step and a good way to take care of it um just being more conscious about that yeah yeah and if it's anything like my parts it really appreciates just the validation of like yeah, this is a this is a big thing for my system. And I'm not going to mm -hmm. make that I'm not going to sit there and say, "Oh, that means there's something wrong with me." Or and it's just like it is what it is. And I can work with that. Yeah, that's it's just it's, it seems r really <laughs> like such an awakening like oh I can stop and be present and not just unconsciously 
step into things. <laughs> yeah. Does it want to show you anything else or ask for you to work with it around anything else? Like we can do more brainstorming on the email stuff, but just check in with it that we're understanding what's important to it. Um, I mean, there's a, the part that wants to ask all those technology questions, but, mm -hmm. <laughs> but, um, but there's the other um, situation that activates this part is um, I accepted a, the, the local democratic committee begged mm -hmm. me to take on the chair position, okay. which I didn't want to do. I don't have the skills um, but it's a small committee, as you can imagine, in Northwest. <laughs> and um, everyone's already done everything multiple times. I'm the new person. So it was like, you know, I have to take my turn. I mean, that's that's kind of the attitude I went into it, knowing that it's, a, you know, it's really challenging. Okay. I believe I hear some parts. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like me to share what I'm hearing? Yeah, because I can't really speak at the moment. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't have the skills. Um, I don't know if that's a part or if that's just just the plain fact. But I would check that out. And then I heard, you know, everyone else has done this and I haven't, and so I have to. Yeah, that's uh, that's a part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's It shows up as, um, it's all up to me. Yeah. How are you feeling right now? Overwhelmed. Um, okay. Okay. Is, and is it the all up to me part that's kind of overwhelming? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let it know that we see it. Ask it for a little space. Yeah. We see it. It matters. And we can be there for it if it won't overwhelm. Yeah, it, it, um, I'm letting it know that it's, that it's done a really hard job for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, check that out with it. Check it out if, if it feels like you get how hard it's been for it. I need to, I don't know how to end this call. Um, you have another call coming call. I mean, can I just press the red X? Probably, or we could just wait it out. Hi. Welcome back. <laughs> okay, now my earbuds aren't connected. I'm just going to take them off. Sounds a little better. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> I guess I was trying to end that call and I ended you. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So I've, I've been working with this part a lot. I, I noticed that belief when I feel anxious, it's all up to me. I've, that's been a, an awareness I've had lately. Okay. How do you feel towards that part? Um, I just have a lot of curiosity and also some understanding. Oh, 
Okay, I'm gonna ignore this call. I'm gonna send you those tech tips. Mm. Oh, what? I said I'm gonna send you those tech t tips that you were wondering about earlier. Okay, I'm gonna send this call to voicemail. Maybe that will work. Yeah. Okay. Still there. Yeah. Okay, good. Um. Um, I think I um, understand that uh, it's a parentified part. <clears throat> okay. Is it aware of you there? Yes, I think so. Okay, yeah. You can ask it what it wants you to know about itself. Or anything. I think it's feeling appreciated. Great. I'm not. I'm not feeling the emotions of it at the moment. Okay. Maybe you could ask it, what's it afraid would happen if it didn't have to, if it didn't take something on like this position with the committee or... It's like at a loss. I don't even know how that what that would look like. <laughs> okay. Would it be all right to just stay with that? Yeah. Okay, just stay with that. Just what would happen if it didn't get your attention this way? Or if it didn't kind of compel you to feel like you have to? I'd have to speak up for myself. Okay. Sounds important. And scary. So that's scary, right? That's scary. Yeah. So if you said, no thanks, then you would have to speak up for yourself and that would be scary? Yeah. Even just the, the idea of doing that? Yeah, it, it it feels scary, and it also, it's like, I don't even know how to do that. Okay, yeah. And are there more feelings around that, not knowing how to do that? Is that also scary, or is, that, is there some shame around that, or sadness yeah. around that? Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a little bit of, like, sort of at a loss. There's a little bit of shame. Um, okay. Hmm. I the thought just came up. It reminds me of that feeling I have that I don't know how to do IFS right, or maybe it's not going to work for me, or mm -hmm. um, it's similar. Yeah. Kind of a hopelessness, or. Yeah. Feeling of, yeah. Does it make sense to you why this part would feel so strong about having to take everything on if it's trying to keep these feelings away? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let it know that. Just show it appreciation. It wants to protect you from those scary or shameful feelings.
there's there's a part that says it's okay we can we can practice that we can you know we can figure it out we can practice it and mm -hmm. then i'm not sure if that's like a helpful part or a part that's trying not to feel the scary part yeah yeah don't know yeah and it could be right it could be right that practicing that is is the way forward um the first thing i would want to do is understand the part so you know the part that is scared the part that has the shame or whatever feelings around i don't know how to do that i'd want to understand the part first and kind of ask it do you want to practice that or is there something else you need from me or you know just start with the curiosity yeah How's that sound? Yeah, I'm, I'm having a hard time um, hearing the scared part. Yes, yes, which everything that you're saying makes sense to me. I am assuming that the I have to, it's all up to me is kind of a protector. It's kind of pushing and it's saying, just say yes, just say yes. And then I'm guessing that the that the shame or the feeling of the scary is more of an exile. So yeah, they yeah. they are a little harder to get to. Yeah. Maybe uh, staying with the one who says that you should take it all on and it's all up to you. What would it? rather be doing with its energy if it didn't have to work in that way. Well, it would rather speak up. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um. Yeah, so anything else that sees itself doing or enjoying if you were to speak mm -hmm. up and if it didn't have to work to protect you from those feelings of shame or fear? I'm just imagining it being more... Um more clear and present and like honest in a way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Like I could really just show up and be who I am and say what I need. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, there's a weird combination of like excitement and fear like um, right. power and fear yeah. happening at the same time. Which makes sense. Because that would, if, if it's in the hypothetical and we see you just being powerful and speaking up, that's great. But what about these parts that are, that are scared about that and have other feelings about that? So I'm just saying it makes sense to me that this part would, or that you would be experiencing both of those. <laughs> I'm imagining, I, I'm, I keep going back to this scene where I'm accepting this position that I don't want. Uh-huh. Um, and um, like, saying no but with a really quivery tearful voice <laughs> and being okay with that yeah yeah i'm imagining being in a scene like that and speaking for my parts and saying part of me is really sad or afraid or concerned about saying no maybe scared 
and this is all hypothetical and I've worked mm -hmm. with that part and I'm still going to say no. And just imagining a kind of relationship like that where you can just speak for your parts and it's okay. You know, it's okay to have some fear and to just speak for it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I actually did that not using parts language, but mm -hmm. that was part of what I expressed is like, I have a lot of anxiety. This, this is going to be a really challenging thing for me to take on. And, um, I need and how to, did, and how did your peers respond to your anxiety? They were, they were supportive. I mean, like, I did, I don't were they know supportive they by dismissing it and saying, no, no, you're great. You don't, well, don't, yeah, you don't need to be anxious. <laughs> that kind of support. <laughs> um, I mean, I'd probably, probably a little bit of both because they, yeah. they offered like, you know, the treasurer is going to do all that stuff and the secretary is going to do all that stuff. And, you know, you can okay. rely on us with, you know, just, you know, Basically, yeah. you don't have to do anything. We'll do it all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, so I think nice. there was some honest. Yeah, there's some real, some real support there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, coming back to this part that was saying that you need to take it all on. You could try asking it how old it thinks you are. Mm hmm. I don't I don't have a number but it looks like between like 7 and 10. Okay. You can just ask it more about that. What what's going on between 7 and 10? That's important for this part. I just all the memories from that time that um seven kids, both parents working, um, a lot of chaos, a lot of, uh, fear of punishment. There was a lot. Okay. So there's a lot of chaos at that time, fear of punishment. And this part showed up and said, look, just, just say yes. Just take, just handle it yourself. Take it all on, and that'll keep us out of the chaos a little bit, keep us out of the punishment, something like that. Yeah, you know, cleaning, cooking, um, taking care of things. Yeah, yep. We don't really get to say no to that, or it would be it'd be worse to try to speak up and say, no, I'm, I'm not, no thanks, in those situations. Yeah, yeah, okay. that that wouldn't even appear as an option. <laughs> Not an option, right. Right. It was like this, it's like we were hearing earlier, it, it doesn't even know how. Yeah. That, that didn't, that yeah. wasn't an option. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, update it with your real age. <laughs> it, it's like, Wow. Yeah. You're old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and you're not in that situation anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's where the lightness comes from. Like, oh yeah. 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 That's not here. But you know, there might be parts of you that are still kind of back there. Mm -hmm. So you can acknowledge that too. There are yeah. parts of you that are still scared or still don't know how to speak up, but those are other parts. This feels very integrating. Um, I'm so glad. Because I got yeah. I, hard to, all those parts are just kind of like 
when I'm by myself, they're just hard to distinguish. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, That's what we're doing. We're integrating, bringing them all home, finding a place, figuring out where they want to be in the home of our internal family. Acknowledging them all, the ones that have been pushed away. Valuing, valuing them all. So I, I'm wanting to jump to practical things now. <laughs> okay. Thing. Let's, we can do that. And I would also recommend starting with curiosity there too. Ask the part that says you have to do it all yourself. What's, what's our next practical things? What does it need from you? And you can just think creatively. What would make its life easier? I'm just focusing on the, um, because the email thing, you know, triggers my anxiety Mm -hmm. the most. Um, I mean, so I don't know if it's, if this part answering, but what I really want is, (laughs) is, is there a way to, um, there's only certain emails that I want to see. The rest, yep. I don't want to see, um, mm-hmm. you know, unless I'm curious or researching or something. Mm-hmm. Are there ways to to only allow certain emails to appear? Or Yes. Sure. Okay. And if you're on the Apple ecosystem, then I'm your guy. I can walk you through that on any device. If you're not then I could at least help point you in the right direction. Um, I use um, I use Gmail, and on my on my mm-hmm. laptop I use Google. But on my phone, I think it's just Safari that's bringing them all up. But it's Gmail. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, Gmail is renowned for its many options for filtering and tagging and setting up all kinds of rules. So um, yeah, I can. Uh, talk with you more about that. I'm, I could even, I'm thinking about maybe just typing something up about a couple of ideas I have, and maybe I could send you some screenshots or links about what you might explore, maybe a YouTube mm-hmm. video or something. Yeah. Yeah. And that, and just knowing that that's there, it's probably something I can find. I just have, I, I start going there and then I get impatient and then it's like, oh, yeah. forget it. <laughs> yep. And it's exactly what I do. It's, it's, uh, I set up well, I use what's called focus modes on my devices. So at this time of day, when I'm on an IFS call, no one can get in touch with me. At this other time of day, I only want to be alerted to emails from my lawyer, from this person, from my business partner, and nobody else. At this yeah. time of day, oh, okay. okay, okay, let them all through. Or and or I also do a lot of filtering. You know, if it's the, if it's from this person, just go ahead and archive it and flag it with this flag and I can Mm. remind myself to check that once a month. You know, I don't need to see that so often. Mm -hmm. It takes time to set all that up, but yeah, just, you know, if it's just what you were asking of, I just want to see emails from this person, that person, that's, I think that's pretty easy to set up. These are my favorites, flag them, put everybody else in this other folder or whatever. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, just some instructions that would be really helpful. Okay, I would I would love to help you with that, and I'll send you an email about that. <laughs> You're making my life easier already, Jane. Great, glad I can help. <laughs> um, yeah, and I just I really got so much from the session, and I just really appreciate your 
you know, your service to humanity. <laughs> Thank you. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. And, and I'm thanks for participating. Be, yeah. It's almost time to go, right? I mean, to, to move. Uh, to, to Vietnam? Yeah. Yeah, uh, 12 days. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah. Oh, I was going to ask on the Discord app. I, I look in there every once in a while, but um, I was really curious about the Monday um, mm -hmm. blog. Not meet yeah. up, but yes, is that's that, what they're calling it. Monday meet up. Should I just post in there and say, "Can you, t you know, sh tell me how to get invited or something like mm -hmm. that?" Okay. So you're so you're in the Discord. Um, I've actually never been to the Monday meet up, and I don't know offhand what time of day they meet. Okay. But uh, I can just post. And, yeah. Yep. Um, I can also follow up with you about that. And and even uh, point you to kind of how to join. Basically, there's it's just a it's a voice chat, and so mm. you kind of you you get into another channel. Channels those things on the left side, I think, and it, and it says, okay, now you and these four other people are in here, and it's just they're just, they're just chatting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I th I I've been wanting to do that, but I've been too shy. <laughs> okay. Well, so, that would be good. I think you'll recognize if you listen to this podcast, you'll recognize the the other members. Yeah, and they all have their shy parts too. So, <laughs> um, okay. I just want to make sure that you know we were with this part that says you have to take it all on, and I just want to ask one more time if it has any requests um, from you going forward. I think it's um, uh, encouraged by what I'm learning about it and possibly how I might be able to um, experiment with speaking up. Mm -hmm. Okay. And my, my wife is really, really good at holding huh. that space. So, I'm, I mean, she's a perfect person I can practice with. Great, great. Um, another thing you might offer, if it feels right, is um, sometime in your parts work, with me or not, you could um, maybe try going to those scared parts, don't know how parts, if there's a seven to 10 year old in there who's still feeling that fear of punishment or chaos, that we can go to those parts too. Mm. And Maybe help them out. Like let them speak up? Is that, is that what you're saying? Well, I believe these are exile parts. Oh, and okay. I think they're, yeah. they're yeah. still scared. Um, yeah. Is yeah. what I would assume. Yeah. And yeah, it's just, it's not necessarily asking them to speak up. They might not want to speak up, but we want them to be able to speak to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's getting in touch with them, updating them, unburdening them. Um, and then seeing how that ripples out to the to the protector layers. Mm. Right. Yeah. It's yeah. Getting a little clearer <laughs> day by day. Yeah. Anything else? Any other questions? Anything we skipped? Not that I know of. I, I'm going to um, start writing to kind of Great. You know, clarify that. I write, I write a lot, just, you know, just thinking out loud on paper. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, James. Okay. Thank you. I'll send you the call. I'll send you a message about tech and I'll send you a note about the Monday meetup. Oh, great. Great. I don't think I got the call last time. If I 
or I didn't notice it. So yeah. Mm, I'm okay. Forward. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I'll be in All touch. Right. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Do you want to help bring more self energy to the world? If you'd like to participate in calls or help out with this project in any way, I'd love to hear your ideas. Join the Discord server or contact me at james at liveifs.com. A huge thanks to our audio engineer, Ivan, for your care and diligence in editing the calls. To every caller for your courage in sharing some of your parts. And to anyone out there getting to know their internal system, keep going. Who knows, that might be the most selfless, helpful thing you can do for others, and you're the only one who can do it. If you'd like to see us reach the largest audience, we must please the almighty suggestion algorithms at iTunes and YouTube. And they don't care about the power of IFS. They're looking for likes and shares and comments, and the sooner the better. Follow the links in the show notes right here in your podcast player to make your wishes known. And now, a minute of meditation. Or if you prefer, pull over. You can do it in 60 seconds. Just click one of those links. They're right there. And give us a like or a five-star rating. It would really help. If you think this project is helping people, you're helping people by sharing it. Thank you.